Well, hi guys. Welcome back to yet another episode of the Pink Jersey Show. I'm Devin. I'm Ariel. And yeah, we got a lot to get into today because Florida football has been disappointing us the entire state. So, and if you guys haven't noticed, our setup has changed, our outfits are changed because today is not a good day. It's not a good day to be FAU football. We're we're over it. I'm over it. Um, you're being demoted to the side chick. <laughs> not not even to the side chick. You're like you're like that girl that you DM one time and you never text again. Like oh, they're out of there. You're out the game, babe. Because I don't know what you got going on, but it's not enough. So you know, in true pink jersey fashion, we picked up our mics, our cameras. And we went where the energy is high, the winds are good, and, you know, the vibes are just there. We just, we'll be filming anywhere but your end zone, because we just, we're not feeling it anymore. Um, last week, you guys lost to UConn. This week, you guys won against Wagner. So we're like, oh no. I'm not applauding fish for swimming this week, because, like, honestly, um... Wagner is like technically classified lower than us in Division One football, so that win was kind of like it was expected. Like that's the bare minimum, and we don't settle for the bare minimum around here. Ladies, do not settle. Y'all still get a pink star from me, but it's okay. It's not like hot pink for me this week. It's like it's fuchsia. Isn't it's still a star. Pink? I don't know. I I barely passed art class. It's okay. I'm not an art major. I don't know an art major either. So, <laughs> um, so now let's move on because there's not really much to talk about FAU. Yeah, I feel like you guys are just feeding me a low carb diet, and I like my carbs. So we'll check back in next week. Maybe, maybe like you guys will be on our good side. Yeah, you'll catch up eventually. But yeah, let's let's keep traveling up the state. Um, actually, let's go up the road really quick. University of Miami. You guys are like the best team in Florida. Congratulations. You are the best team in Florida. I can't even argue with you. I can't argue with anyone on that. You guys are the best team in Florida, currently 5-0. and oh. um, Yeah, I'm just, I'm proud of y'all. Like, we're getting back to 08 when football was good. So, like, let's keep up the good work. Um, FIU, we don't say, we don't talk about y'all on these parts. So, who? FIU? Who? Oh, oh, all right. I thought so. Um, but yeah, anyways, back to the other side of, you know, Miami. Um, you Miami had a really good game against Virginia Tech. You know, Virginia Tech fans will probably sit there and try to argue with you about it. Um, that was a touchdown, but we're not going to mention that. Um, you guys didn't deserve that. <laughs> but um, yeah. Um, going up to North Florida, UF. Yeah, you had a bye week this week. You kind of needed that. Um, we'll see how y'all do against UCF. <laughs> oh, and UCF, I completely forgot about y'all. Y'all let Deion Sanders and all of his little army people, transfer portal people. Transfer in, portal warriors. Oh, my and gosh. And whip y'all on y'all's own turf. I, I know for a fact Dion and his little, his little boys, they went to Disney World to actually feel like they didn't waste their time coming to Orlando because – he was setting, he was doing big one. Who was it? Tra Travis Hunter and Shadir were doing like their big one in your, your stadium. Me personally. I wouldn't let that slide, but you know, maybe Shadir will put it in a rap song. He will. He most definitely will. He 110% will. And that's, that's the bad part. Like, mm, um, should we do our pyramid? Of the Florida football. Oh, we got one more to mention. Who? Um, Florida State. Oh. Um, Boo. <laughs> thumbs down. <laughs> but um, let's let's talk about how I don't think you guys should be D one anymore. Cause this whole the way you guys have been playing your quarterback, especially. I'm not I'm not loving it. This it's not. I never have anything good to say about Florida State. Never, never, not once. And I really can't. You guys did win the other week. Um, but I think that's it. I think that's all y'all got, um, quite frankly. So I think that puts them where? If we were to do a... <laughs> on, a on a pyramid, on our... Yeah, where does that put them? Bottom. Bottom of the barrel. 
Like, okay, I think the only reason I'm putting them at the bottom of the barrel this week is because they did all that hooting and hollering last season about, oh, we deserve a playoff game, we deserve a playoff game, and now all of a sudden you guys don't know how to play football anymore. That just 110% proved to me you're nothing without Jordan Travis and you're nothing without Keon Coleman. Like, you're, you're talentless now. Who even are you? But they're yeah. at the bottom. <laughs> FAU, FAU and FIU... No, FAU is at the bottom. Actually, FAU, FAU, FAU is, like, you, you guys. You're not even on the list. Yeah, you, you can even make it in the club. So the bottom, FSU. FSU. Next, UCF. Yeah. Y'all are lucky y'all aren't at the bottom for last game. Yeah, you're sitting there. You're there. But, like, that's just because you showed up slightly for your game. But you ain't really show up for real, so. Um, I'm going to put UF at the top this week. I'm a, but not over Miami. Miami is at the very top of the totem pole. They're looking down on everybody else. You're putting UF over FAU? I'm putting UF over FAU, 100%. I'm not putting UF over FAU. Honestly, I've got my people. Honestly, I'm putting UF over FAU because if you were to put UF's current team, despite how they've been playing up against FAU's current team, FA, FAU isn't even putting yeah, points on the board. That's fair. Like... You really think you really think FAU could put points on the board no. up against DJ Lagway? No, but this is where I pay my tuition. So like I have to I'm sticking with y'all. Sorry. I'm sticking with the hometown team. I'm always gonna be a swamp girly, but like, you know. I hate the way swamp girly sounds. <laughs> <laughs> I do too. But you know, I'm just not I'm not I'm not loving it. Like I don't know, because like the only thing UF is really doing right now is prepping DJ Lagway's talent for the transfer portal. So but you know, we hate the transfer portal. <laughs> I hate the transfer <laughs> yeah, portal. Transfer, transfer portal is like it's not. I don't like it. Mm-mm. But um, you know, college football has been something these last couple of weeks. Kind of enjoying it. Um, we're gonna move out of Florida for just a second, just to mention Bama Blitz, Bama Blitz, Blitz Bama Blitz. Blitz, Bama Blitz. Oh my Bama. gosh! And they got a seventeen-year-old who is out here like doing yeah. like wonders on this field. You just learned how to drive last year. And now you're over here on the field making plays like that. And you've yeah. got like, you've got grown men can't who can't keep, catch, up with you. can't keep up. Like they can't even catch you. Like, I don't know. When I was 17, I was probably going to go to homecoming. You're, you're literally, you're going to be in the league before you're 21. Like I'm, I'm ready. I'm, I'm a fan. I am such a fan. So then he um he skipped his senior year of high school and he like reclassified, which is like how he's able to typically people reclassify to like not have to go early, like to wait a year. So like you skipping a year, especially like your most important year of high school, like in my opinion, to go play at Bama, I just Yeah, he's ahead of the game. You get the pink star. (laughs) You get all the pink stars. Like I'm, I'm just proud it. of you. Like as a like, especially like at that age. Like you're yeah, really that just is impressive. you're setting you're setting standards that weren't there before. So yeah, we don't care about no bulldogs, yeah. nothing. Like <laughs> I can't even say it. Yeah, I no, can't even it's say a bad it's, day to it's be a, a bad day to be a bulldog. Like, but um, yeah. So moving on from nil, Go talk to NFL. about some NFL. Week three of NFL football in the state of Florida was so bad. I want to give it a zero, but I can't. So I'm going to give it a one. Um, Jags, Bucks, Dolphins, boo. All of y'all. Jags. Especially. Jacksonville. Don't jump us. We know that the Duval. I know how y'all like the tussle. To <laughs> I know how people in Duval like the tussle, but you do know the season started already, right? You're currently 0 and 4. You were supposed to, um, you know, at least win a game by now, and you haven't. So, Trevor Lawrence, I'm trying to figure out what the issue is. Like, what's the deal? You were playing good when you were in Death Valley. When you were at Clemson, you were you were doing it, but you came to Florida and you just act like you don't know how to play football anymore. So, I'm confused. You're confused. Oh my gosh. Okay. Anyways, Prince Charming. <laughs> um, um, yeah. Um, our hometown team, the Dolphins, 
Last season in week three, you scored 70 points by week three. You you have not done that. I don't think you've scored 70 points. I think they only have 30, right? Cut the cameras. <laughs> Cut the cameras. Um, I just, I don't understand what's going on. Um, Florida, like, it's just, we're not really, we're not footballing. Yeah, we're not footballing. Like we're supposed to. Um, I'm just kind of confused as to what exactly is we're going on. We're relying on the Panthers to bring us another trophy. Yeah. The, yeah. The <laughs> hockey. Yeah. Get on the ice. We're not even, it doesn't even snow here. It doesn't even get cold enough here to like, you know, be good okay. at hockey. So I'm confused. But um, yeah, the Bucks are also super disappointing. Um, you guys have kind of proven to me that you aren't really anything without Tom Brady. Can't believe those words are actually coming out of my mouth, but yeah. Um, maybe the state of Florida will do better football-wise in these upcoming weeks. Hopefully. If not, we're going to blame it on the hurricane. No. <laughs> uh-uh. No, like, honestly, though, like, we can blame it on Helene, Helen, but, um, Mm -mm. No. Don't blame it on Helene. Mm -mm. No. 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 I was trying to give you all the benefit of the doubt. No. The benefit is definitely doubting, apparently. Um. <laughs> but hopefully, NBA preseason is right around the corner. Yeah. It's coming up sooner than we think. So hopefully, the Miami Heat. Miami Heat, Orlando Magic. Oh, I forgot about that. Maybe. <laughs> um, yeah, maybe the Orlando Magic. Nah, uh, no. But you know, we'll 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 wrap it up. We'll kind of bring it. Um, we'll kind of get it back on track. Hopefully, if Maybe. not, we're gonna break up with the whole state of Florida. It's not just if, <laughs> if not, I'm packing up. I'm packing Anybody up. Can get Anybody can get it. The yeah. smoke is free. Um, yeah. Is that all we have? I think that's all I've got for today. Um, so. I have no clue what to say because, you know, <laughs> FAU football, I'm sorry. Maybe we can try to work things out eventually, but for now, just kind of over you. You're like, you're like a bad pair of shoes. And we have a bye week this week. Next week we play. You're going to be by yourself because I'm just, yeah. I'll see you after homecoming. Maybe we can get back together next week. No. You're strict. Next it's week. real strict over here. <laughs> it's really strict over here. You've disappointed me one too many times. My standards are a little too high for that. We'll spin the block next week. <clears throat> and we'll talk about maybe us winning against North Texas. Do you, do you think we're going to win? Okay. Um. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to give it to y'all. Yeah? Yeah. Oh. I'm lying. Oh. <laughs> I'm lying. I actually don't have faith in it at all. Um, I don't think our. I don't think we're gonna see our next win until the end of the season. Homecoming? No. After. Not even homecoming? No. You don't think we're gonna win homecoming? No. USF was putting up points against Miami. USF was putting up points against Alabama. We're neither one of those teams. We we act like we don't know how to play football once a week. So I'm I'm not I'm unimpressed. We can't lose homecoming. We can't, but like, that's so embarrassing. And it's on a Friday. Really? Yeah. So if y'all start losing, I'm gonna go watch a high school game. So um, yeah, let's yeah, let's work on that. Get in the get in the weight room this week. It's a bye week. Doesn't mean you have the week off to go do whatever you want. Shouldn't see y'all in a single club, bar, nothing. I want you guys working, watching film every day, day in day out. But that's all for today. Yeah. All right. See you guys in two weeks. Bye. The Pink Jersey Show, the sports talk show for the girls.